Maybe you know this too, or you've experienced it in your life. So I'm talking about this feeling, let's call it a feeling for now, for lack of better words, or a state of mind maybe, where you, you've you been at something for quite some time and you feel that you made some progress and at the start of things, everything seemed pretty good. Like it, it seemed like you, you would get there. And then also you, you made fat, fast progress at the start. And then all of a sudden it slows down. And then, and this is the worst part I want to talk about, then you plateau. Like you come to that moment in time where your progress just not only seems to be on hold, but you feel like you're going backwards in all the progress that you made so far. And for me, this feeling is a super tough one. And I recently been at it, like at the start of this year, I've been at it, not with my writing, but, you know, I've been, I've been, you know, doing sports and going to the gym and, you know, doing all this fancy muscle building stuff. Um, and then I made fast progress at the beginning like really fast and I thought oh that is that's way easier than I thought it would be and look at what you know progress I've been making in almost you know two months like this can this is hilarious like I will I will make much bigger progress in no time but then after two and a half months I hit this plateau and kind of that this was the end of any progress so i thought oh okay what am i doing with this now what's the way out of it so at first i thought mm, persistence like just keep at it it'll be it'll come around don't don't worry about it. It'll come around and you will be back on track soon ish at least. So I stayed at it. Didn't change anything in the way I was going about it. And then way into my third month, still making no progress at all still plateauing, as they say, I lost interest. And I was ready to quit. And th this was the moment when I realized, uh, hang on a second, I've been here before. I know this state of mind. And this is where usually I would quit. And in the past, I did quit a couple of things this way. But since I've been doing this for a couple of years now, trying to avoid a certain, I don't know, going, going at it even further, in some areas of my life, I thought maybe it's time to shake it up a little. Like, what good does it do anyone if you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results, right? You all know this saying. So I thought it's time. And then this lockdown thing happened, and so I... Like I, like I told you before, I, I made some 
changes in my life already. So I thought, okay, now let's tackle this. Let's go at it and see what it's really about. Why is it, why is it that you don't go beyond this? Okay, so in sports, that was, for me, it was like a sign to maybe change the way I go about it. So I tried a different couple of exercises and shook up the whole process I was going about. But that wasn't doing anything. And I was surprised by that because I thought, okay, if I, if I change sort of the way I go about it, that must be the ultimate way to shake things up, right? No, at least this wasn't for me. So what I found was that I was still lacking something, like the secret ingredient. And now comes the interesting part, I think, and, and this I will translate it over to writing in a second, so bear with me. So I thought, okay, so what's the secret ingredient here? What am I lacking? And then someday, you know, I was I was looking at my son doing his homework. And he was he was doing like math and he didn't really he wasn't he wasn't too much into it. So he just just made it like because it had to be done like he he did it and he did it okay so there was nothing wrong with that but then i saw him do his english homework and then it hit me because he was he was really at it he was trying to understand it he was he was trying to tackle it and he was going about it pretty hard and i thought that is interesting. Why doesn't he do that in math? Right? So I asked him, like, so what's the deal with English? And he said, Dad, I hear you talk English, and I want to talk English the way you do. And then, then it hit me. Okay, so it is about the why if you have a why if you do why you're doing stuff anything in life everything changes so i thought oh okay maybe that is the secret ingredient i need to apply this to my exercising and i did so before going back to the gym and trying out different exercises I thought, okay, before I go back, I need this why. Why do I want to do it? And then I came up with a why. Because I thought, okay, I... And it's, that's a simple, very simple goal, right? Like, really simple mission. But it, but it did the trick. So I thought to myself, I want to I wanna do a handstand. I want to be able to do a handstand. Boom, there it was. Now, back at the gym, right back into the game. And the fun thing is, I was nearly doing the same exercises when um, up, up until that point when I sort of hit the plateau. So I didn't really change the exercises at all, you know, maybe some of the intensity, but not much. So, but I did change the why. That is, that's so awesome. And there it was. The plateau was gone. So I was thinking, so what if even in writing, you know, when the going gets tough and it, as you all know, it surely does and it will. And sometimes repeatedly so, okay? And sometimes we lose steam so bad that we find it very hard to stay at it, to stay put, because we think like, okay, my God, I'm at this plateau, I cannot progress, and it's it seems like, you know, a kind of a defeat or something like that. Okay, so, but what if the why is in this, in this times of doubt, 
you know, self-doubt and whatnot. What if the why is the problem? Or, in other words, is the solution to you not progressing? So I want to sort of encourage you to try this why. Like, go back to the beginning of things and ask yourself, why is it that I wanted to write this story in the first place? What got me hooked? Because I guarantee you, the one thing that got you hooked kind of got lost along the way. And you didn't see it anymore. You couldn't see it anymore. And if you can't see things clearly ahead, that's when things get blurry. And any time things get blurry, it's very hard to see straight. And if you cannot see straight, you're losing steam. And this is what feels like plateauing. But what it really is, it's telling you to, are you just doing it for the sake of doing it? Or is there something that you want to achieve by doing this? And if you change this around, and if you add the why back into the game, that's when the progression starts happening again. Take care, guys.